Hi ATPF families, my name is Grace and I'm a volunteer for ATPF and today I'm going to read you a story from um, Aesop's Fables. This is the book and the story I'm going to be reading today is called The Lion and the Mouse. One hot afternoon, Lion lay snoozing happily in the shade of a tree. Suddenly, he felt something running over his nose. He opened one eye and saw it was a tiny mouse. Furious at being woken, he waited his moment. Then he lashed out his great paw and caught Mouse by the tail. Oh, please, squeaked Mouse. I didn't mean to wake you. Let me go, please. I'll pay you back one day. I promise. Lion roared with laughter. You, repay me? A little tiddly thing like you. How could such a puny creature be of any use to a king of the beast like me? Please, great king, cried Mouse. Don't eat me. Lion yawned and thought about it. He was too sleepy. Oh, well, if you insist, after all, you wouldn't make much of a meal, would you? Off you go, and be careful whose nose you walk in in the future. It was not long after that, Mouse and Lion went again. This is how it happened. Lion had gone off hunting at dusk. He was stalking through the trees, following a herd of zebra when he happened to spring a hunter's trap. A great net came down on him and held him fast. He roared and raged, but in the spite of, of all his great strength, he could not break free. His roaring echoed through the forest so that everyone heard him and everyone knew that Lion was in trouble. Mouse heard him too and he was a mouse of his word. Off he went, as fast as his little legs would carry him, to see if he could help. It wasn't long before he came across Lion, still caught up in the net, still roaring and raging. Don't worry, said Mouse. I'll soon have you out of that. And he began to gnaw at the net ropes one by one until at last Lion could break free. You are said mouse I told you I'd pay you back didn't I a little tiddly thing like you helping out a king of the beast like me lion replied who would have thought it possible everything is possible said mouse goodbye lion and off he scampered away into the long grass So the moral of this story was that kindness is more important than strength. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.